Hello there YouTube, today we will talk about interceptions and how you can improve your interceptions on FIFA 22 guys. So we must pay attention to this matchup between Tex and Maestro Scott. First let's look at this clip. As you can see he is constantly switching between his players. But why are you not able to do it? Let's assume that you have mastered the right stick switching which is the most important aspect on FIFA 22 when it comes to interceptions. And still you are not able to intercept the ball like this. Okay? The reason for that is because you do not possess the knowledge yet which will improve you as a FIFA player. Most of you guys are focused too much on the mechanics. Mechanics are important. Like I said, right stick switching is the most important thing. But let's imagine this. These two guys, their right stick switching is perfect. How are they able to win the ball if both of them have perfect right stick switching? How are they able to win the ball and how you can do the same? Let me show you, right? Pay attention on this first clip, guys. As you can see, first he was controlling Pele. With Pele, he moved towards inside. Then later he switched to Mane. With Mane, he covered the pass into Renato Sanchez. And now he switched to R9. So the goal is to always think one step ahead, get, to, get into his head and try to think from your opponent's perspective. This is the most important aspect, right? Get into his head. This is what Maestro is trying to do. At the pro level, this is what happens. The player who is able to get into the head of the other player is the one who wins the match, right? As you can see, now he has shown him that you cannot pass the ball into Renato Sanchez. Because his defense is in a perfect line, that being the most important part as explained in previous videos, these passes to the strikers are marked. This pass to the winger is marked by this Pele, right? So the only viable option for this guy in text right now is to switch the play or go back inside. So Maestro Scott is doing a very good job at keeping his shape. Remember, you cannot immediately get the ball back. But if you keep doing this, what he is doing, you are certain to get the ball back until and unless your opponent does something exceptional out of the box. Marking the pass into Sanchez. Now, he has forced him to turn back, okay, or either switch the play. Only two options left for Tex. He switches the ball into his center back. And now, the most common pass would be into this uh, Sanchez and he knows that. This is why he will switch into Lorente and try to cover this pass. And now, Tex has no option but to either run straight with Walker or switch the ball towards the other side of the pitch, right? This is what he does, finds the pass into the winger once again. This is pretty simple and he ends up winning the ball back. He almost gets impatient and this is where he kills him and gets the ball back. So what have we learned so far? We have learned that in order to intercept like a pro on FIFA 22, you need to be very mindful of what your opponent is doing and always constantly trap him and dictate the play. If you are able to dictate the play as a defender, you will be more successful and same applies for the offense as well. Now we have text, right? Maestro Scott is building up very nicely. Now we have text, like I told you earlier, perfect shape. This is the first requirement. And then second requirement, the most important requirement is the right stick switching, which I will talk to you about later on. And then the third thing being the ability to get into your opponent's head, right? As you can see with Tex, he's similarly doing the same thing. With Renato Sanchez, one of his CMs or CDMs, he is applying pressure. And at the other hand, he is running in towards this Hullet trying to get the ball back from him, right? Because the most obvious pass from Maestro Scott right now is towards this Hullet. If he tries to turn back, there is Ronaldinho and Renato Sanchez is pressing him and there is a big chance that he might lose the ball or he is only able to play the ball in towards this guy which is not a very dangerous pass. The goal is to always avoid your opponent from making the dangerous passes, right? Which is, Tex, which is what Tex is basically doing right now. His pass gets successful, but he will keep doing what I told you, right? As you can see, marks this pass, does second man press, forces him to turn backwards. So this, if you grasp this, that the ability to force your opponent into making less dangerous passes will help you intercept the ball more often because eventually, no matter how good they are, they will run out of patience and you will become more successful in getting the ball back, right? As you can see once again, he runs with Lorente, tells him that I am going to get the ball back from you, switches immediately with the right stick, flicks the right stick downwards into Ronaldinho and will try to run in front of Lorente, right? Now rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat and this is why his opponent is not able to get any space, right? As you can see, once again, 
he has forced him to turn back forcing your opponent to turn back will eventually lead you to getting the ball back right as you can see this is very simple looks very simple but this is the art right and eventually he is able to trap him how beautiful it was let's watch it again in real time as you can see switching the play running with one player switching to the other player and trying to cover the next possible pass doing the same thing being very composed he knows what he's doing and he knows what he wants his opponent to do right does so this is very intentional this is very intentional and then he knows that he has intentionally given the space to r9 he switches to cancelo and then moves in front of him and eventually gets the ball back so this is the art of interception right it's more than just the mechanics itself it is more about getting into the mind of your opponent and then dictating the play from there and making him do what you want him to do right so this is the art of intercepting on fifa 22 guys another example again text maestro switches as i showed you earlier he will run with mares in towards his walker and now he has immediately forced him to make the pass either towards the side or towards the back right because this guy is marking this pass r9 right so what happens he is forced to make the less dangerous pass while tex is doing the same principles we talked about right and eventually this will lead him to get the ball back this is as simple as that right as you can see intentionally gives him this space second man presses while running back with walker trapping him and getting the ball back guys this is very important this is all that is to pro interceptions like you can see once again this is what they do all about trapping your opponent and getting into his head if you watch this video again and again you will learn something if you are an enlightened fifa player you will learn something man if you're a new fifa player these concepts will seem confusing it will seem difficult what i am saying will be like oh my god i don't get this guy but as you gain experience you will realize what i am telling you is golden right and if if you are able to understand what i am trying to teach you then you will master interceptions you will master defending not just on fifa 22 on fifas to come as well watch this video a couple of times i told you about right stick switching guys for right stick switching watch this video right here and practice right stick switching if you are a new player if you are perfect at right stick switching then this video is all you need to know and just keep watching it keep watching it and even if you are experienced player if you do not know much about right stick switching check this video out here